Tennessee is one of several states pressing Congress to add warning labels to social media platforms. Elected officials say they are concerned about what they describe as social media's negative effects on kids. News Channel 9's Jacqueline Davis sat down with the state's attorney general about what parents and grandparents need to know. Tennessee, Georgia, and Alabama were on the list of states with attorneys general that signed the letter. I spoke with Tennessee's attorney general about why he is involved with the effort. And they're designed to be addictive. Kids have a hard time not using them. They have a hard time stopping. And that carries effects beyond just spending too much time on the computer. Attorneys General of 42 states signed a letter to Congress demanding a Surgeon General warning label on social media apps. The Surgeon General had, had issued a warning already saying, we've been looking at this and there's evidence that these, these platforms cause problems for kids. The Surgeon General is able to put warnings on products. Tennessee Attorney General Jonathan Scrimetti says that they are wanting to put the well-being of children first. We want to make sure that both parents and the kids are aware that this is a real problem. They need to be making informed decisions so that they're not subjecting themselves to these harms unknowingly. Back in March, Gail Flatt went to Tennessee State Capitol to fight for more control for her parents on social media. Flatt says her daughter Sarah was barely a teenager before she took her own life because of negative peer pressure on social media. I noticed her being uh, almost like not really wanting to be social. You know, uh, they don't want to communicate. It's all about they'll communicate better by texting than they would communicate face-to-face. -to -face. Um, withdrawal and um, aggressive. The letter states, quote, a warning would not only highlight the inherent risks that social media platforms presently pose for young people, but also complement other efforts to spur attention, research, and investments into oversight of social media platforms. Back in March, the McNabb Center, which works with children, says the weight social media has caused more depression and anxiety. They say it comes from the pressure of trying to live up to the standards of social media.